Welcome back, y'all, to Guggen HQ. Today we are breaking down and showcasing every vessel that we own. The Smith Floating Fleet, we call it. Our imagination was sparked because we've never had everything all in one place at one time. We had like a storage unit for the boat at one point, sometimes the kayaks would be here, the John boat in the garage of the house, and it's just been mismatched, and now they're all together. So we're gonna go ahead and run you through each and every vessel we've got. Let's get into it. When you leave your gear over at HQ, Never know what you might find on your trailers. So it all started off at Costco, I think like five years ago probably. Devin and I picked up two kayaks and they were probably like 150 to 200 bucks a piece. I don't remember, they were not fishing dedicated kayaks and fishing was a chore out of these things. They did not feel stable. Uh, you're sitting inside the kayak instead of an elevated seat position like on a lot of these fishing dedicated kayaks. Those are a great place to start out because for one, the cost. Second, you can just like throw them in the tailgate of the truck or maybe even on top of the car, strap it down and you're really good to go to hit the water and there's minimal setup when you get there. Then, we moved into the Bonafide kayaks. We had two SS-127s, that's their 12 and a half footer, and it seemed like the world had changed. It was night and day. These things were paddle kayaks, but they had a huge standing platform, rod and reel holders. I mean, we were set up. So clean. This is the Endless Summer color right here. Look at this color, Endless Summer. Look, that's my sh Dang, she's gonna be pissed. I already got this thing dirty. All right, and then we got a seat to load up, and then also we got the Venom color. Check this thing out. Look at this thing out of the box. We caught a couple PBs out of those kayaks and they were absolutely phenomenal to us. And then we graduated to the old towns and got into a pedal drive setup. First timer, y'all. And you can go straight from forwards to reverse without having to like click anything. Check me out. What? And let me tell you what, when you get into a pedal drive for the first time, you are loving life. You can kick back, you can sit down. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> and we got the 106, I believe, so it's like 10 and a half feet. And getting in a pedal drive kayak after going from paddles is like another night and day scenario where you're thinking it does not get any better than this, right? You're able to just stay right on your spots because you can back pedal if you need to. If you're trying to cross the lake quickly, a pedal drive is just an absolute game changer. But then, Old Town reached out to us though and wanted to send us one of their 120 autopilots and that thing, ho 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 ho, you've never fished out of a kayak like this before, let me tell you. So in the middle of these guys right here, there's a spot for your motor and they have spot lock. I feel so comfortable fishing off of this kayak even in 15 mile per hour winds. Fish number two on the spinner bait. Luckily I got the rod holder on the Old Town. Spot lock to kind of chill and keep my position. If okay, there we go, all right. Okay, let's hit spot lock. Oh my god, that might be the eight. 7.01, baby! Definitely nothing has compared to these autopilot 120s once you get them out on the water. Leading up to that point though, it is a headache. They're much heavier, about 128 pounds with the motor. Another 24, you're looking at about 150 pounds. You got a motor to carry around with you. It locks in place. Minn Kota motor, holy smokes. You got batteries to think about inside the battery box. Old Town recommends 100 amp hours, but some other lithium ion batteries or lead acid batteries might weigh like up to 25 pounds. A lot of moving parts that you don't have to worry about with other kayaks. However, once you're out there on the water and you can spot lock in 10, 15 mile an hour winds right off the points that the bass are munching, it does not get any better. And then COVID hit y'all. And uh, March of 2020, there was no more valet parking cars for me, which is what I had done for the last decade, and uh, nobody was working. So what did Devin and I decide to do? We decided, oh, this is the perfect time to spend some money and buy a new bass boat. So <laughs> I think it was in May of 2020, because it took us some time to shop around and find the boat that we wanted. We picked up a Ranger. So what do we do? We picked up a Ranger RT-188P after doing some shopping. An aluminum boat, it was under $30,000. The live well so big. This was a great platform for us to get for our first boat. Uh, we got it kind of bare bones knowing that we wanted to do some Garmin electronic upgrades in the future. So it did have a trolling motor on it to start, but it was just a cheaper Minn Kota with no spot lock or anything. At that time, the Garmin Force was like, I think just introduced to the market. It was newer for sure. And we wanted that, especially to pair up with some of the other Garmin electronics. She's missing a few pieces here and there we've hit a few stumps over the you know years well, up front we've got a 102 SV it's gonna be a 10 inch screen it's been more than enough to cover our needs for our first boat ever and then back on the console we've got a 93 SV so a 9 inch screen right here and then at the back of the boat we've got the Mercury Pro XS 115 horse I think we've taken this thing up to about 55 and so this is the vessel we're taking on those big trips hitting the big water all in all she's been a fantastic boat and we can't wait to take her more places let us know where you'd like to see us go on a big trip with the hot tamale and now let's take y'all over to our slowest 
vessel. Coming in hot with a 45 pound thrust motor is the Spicy Jalapeno. I don't know. We haven't named this thing. <laughs> we, we said we were going to name it. This is the John Boat. This is the newest edition. Facebook Marketplace find. We paid 1500 buckaroos for this. And not only did it come with one trolling motor, but also a second with another battery. So if we, I don't know. I don't know why you'd have two trolling motors on a boat, but we got an extra as well as two outboards when we made the purchase, which we have since offloaded and we primarily launched this thing into some smaller bodies of water it's a little heavy it's a wooden frame inside of here that was built for this deck and so we're not able to launch this in as many places as the kayaks for sure those you can get into some scenarios where if you got to drag the kayaks down to the water it's no problem but with the weight on this john boat we pretty much got to back this thing in using a ramp and then we got to kind of crank it on using this thing right here otherwise it gets tricky but the experience of fishing off a john boat getting a couple friends together is tough to beat <laughs> Not bad at all. Good one. Got him. Oh, wow. This one has definitely been, I would say, the best bang for the buck. It had a trailer already. 1500 bucks it had the motor it was ready to go you can take two three i think we've even put four people on this thing at one point in time we've caught some monster fish out of this john boat and we are definitely wanting to improve it toss some electronics on maybe even do a full a little bit more of a bass boat conversion you might say add something like a live well to this thing or more compartments in the future let us know what we should do down in the comments please i definitely want to beef up the little strap right here for the rod sometimes we're driving down the street and this thing just comes undone and we don't want to lose our gear here. so maybe a new strap is first and foremost what we're gonna add to it we've got a big opening right here in the center this is the one compartment tons of storage space and uh, it's good enough for the rope the paddle and the battery and all the tackle you could want for a couple days out on the water if you're making a little trek this thing has been absolutely fantastic to us it only takes on a little bit of water every time we go out but you know you just pop the plug out let her drain and you're all good for the next adventure now it's the only one that does not have spot lock and that makes things tough sometimes if you're trying to work this trolling motor in high winds it gets a little tricky so i could easily see us upgrading in the future to a motor with spot lock as well as tossing a screen on here and maybe a nice little outboard on the back to have the opportunity to hit some larger bodies of water with it and this thing is going to be probably the sickest 1974 model john boat you've ever seen out on the water and with that you have seen it all ladies and gentlemen we just want to stop to take a minute and say thank you so much to all of you viewers everyone who subscribed in the last couple of years since we picked this stuff up it is only because of your support that we've even had the opportunity to acquire a lot of these things right here and so we just want to say thank you from the bottom of our heart and look forward to making some awesome content with these throughout the 2022 season with y'all's comments down below we can get a great idea of exactly what you'd like to see and with that we'll catch you on those episodes peace